Good. Um, my name is Andre Postuma. I work for, uh, for Workday in the Bad Lux. And I would like to talk to you about um, why the code for HR. It's a technology track, but technology is basically supporting the people and the processes of an organization, whether you have an HR transformation or what have you. Uh, but firstly, let me give a quick introduction of, uh, of Workday. For those who, who knows Workday as a company, you're in the one, two, three. So quick introduction then. Um, basically, we started in 2005, so we were a relatively new company. Um, and we have 925 global customers working on our platform for human capital management, financial management, and big data. Um, and when we started um, in 2005, it was Dave Duffield, the, the, the former owner of uh, PeopleSoft. Uh, he lost his company by a hostile takeover by Oracle, but it gave him the opportunity to start from scratch with no legacy code, no customers and, and, and no uh, inheritance whatsoever from the past. So he created the Workday platform. And we're working at this moment, we're working with companies like Unilever, uh, HP. And uh, last week I was talking to an organization and um, they said, uh, well, it took us about a year to build the data model for HR and to map all the data available uh, for, for that transformation that we're working on, and that was not even with impl implementing the systems and uh, 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 installing the applications on the systems. And then I told him that with Hewlett Packard, um, we did the transformation for 300,000 employees globally in 100 countries in 11 months. And then he looked at me the same as you're looking at me now. So how is that possible? What am I missing here? And that's uh, the way we look at technology from scratch when we started in 2005. Um, this is uh, Forrester. It's a well-known IT uh, research company. They put Workday in the almost at the top, Workday, above the traditional vendors in the market, um, which is also pretty good for a small company like ourselves. It's like David and Goliath uh, sometimes, um, based on the strategy of the company and the current offering they have. So they give a very maturity level to Workday from an, uh, an independent research analyst. Everybody knows what this is. If you're born after 1985, you probably don't know. <laughs> uh, this is the Sony Walkman that was invented in 1997. Um, and it was a revolution. Uh, coincidentally, there was also a well-known rela relational database was announced in 1997 as well. Uh, and it started a revolution. Because what you could do, you could listen to your music anywhere, anytime, anyplace. Whether you're on holiday, in a car, or in a train. You could use your own music, you could buy it in a store, uh, or you could create your own tapes. And everybody has the feeling, okay, we mix tapes for parties, uh, we mix tapes for boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff like that. But it also gives some, some issues, as you can see. And by the way, my kids will never see the relationship between a pencil and a tape. I see it, I used it a lot of times, but most of the kids will, will not see this. And there you were. You have all your music, but it was really hard to change the sequence of the music. It took a long time to create a tape, but if you want to change the, the music on it, it was hard to put them in a different order or what have you. And you put a lot of time and money to create these tapes. Now it's 1984. You're sitting in your room or wherever with the Walkman. And I come up to you and say to you, well, you know, all these tapes you have, we can put it on one device. And you would look at me like, yeah, sure. And, and, so, and even if I said, what if we could put all this music you have uh, on this device by the time you create one tape? That's pretty unbelievable, right? And this is what we face at Workday, actually, from a technology perspective, to support the processes and the, and the organizations for HR. Because they just don't believe it. The answer to that, a smartphone. It's a totally different device, totally different technology. You can put all the music on the tapes on one device. Actually, you can email, you can watch movies, uh, you can even call with it. So that's a totally different approach of technology to do the same thing that you did in the 80s with the Walkman. Now, what does it mean? Technology has moved. The Walkman was really revolutionary in the 80s, uh, but you can't build on that Walkman to go through to support your organization. It needs different technology to create new capabilities and possibilities for your organization to fill the needs of the organization. 
So I have these mixed tapes. So you had to make a lot of investment, time and money. And companies then tend to say to us, yeah, okay, we did huge investments in this. We're not going to spend money on a new platform and take everything out and put in a new system in place. But what if you build through on that old technology? It's building on a Walkman, basically, trying to add new features like movies and stuff like that, which is uh, even more costly for the future. Actually, it will save you more money because it creates for you more possibilities for your organization to fulfill the needs of, for, for example, for an HR transformation or what have you. So in summary, the significant problems we face today, we cannot solve with the way of thinking when we created them. So if you are looking for an HR transformation or what have you, or looking at HR-related technology to support the, the people and the processes, think of the new technology players in the field, and I'm happy to talk to you about that. Thank you.